In this session, we will convert the images into RGB format and store them in NumPy array. Similarly, we will also extract the shape of these images, that is, the height and width of the image. So, as you can see here, I have taken the image logo which I have stored above and make it as a RGB image and then store it in NumPy array. I will take its shape and store it into the height and width. So, as here we does not require the channel, so we have to put it blank. We do not require that. We will be requiring only the height and width of the image which will be stored using the same function. Similarly, for logo also I have converted the logo into RGB format and I have taken the height and width of the logo using logo dot function, shape function. So, let us run this and see how to store these values. So, our values have been stored in these variables. So, we have extracted the shape of the logo as well as the image that we are applying as the logo or watermark. So, next is the most important step that is we need to find out the center of the image like where we have to put our logo or the watermark that is to find the location where I have to place that watermark. So, as you can see here the y coordinate is height of the image by 2 as well as the x coordinate is width of the image by 2 and they are stored as integers. Other than that, we will also find out the corners that is the top corner, left corner, bottom and right corner. For that, we have used center y minus height of the logo divided by 2 from it. This will find out the top of y axis. Similarly, left of x axis will be width of the logo divided by 2 and which is subtracted from the center of x axis and so on. This will help us in finding the exact position where we need to put our watermark. So, let us understand and find out the location where we are putting our image as a watermark. So, here you can see the command is done. So, next thing is we will be finding out the region of interest. So, the region of interest is defined as the area where we need to place our watermark. Here we will find out the region of interest that is ROI using the coordinates that we have found above. We have found out the coordinates like top of y axis, bottom of y, left of x, right of x. And we will be using this to find the value of ROI. So, here we can see that ROI of the image that is region of interest where we need to put our logo that is the top y, bottom y, right and left of x. So, we will add the logo to ROI. So, this logo will be added to ROI. As you can see here we have assembled. Now, I can show you how to draw the lines also on this image. Like it will be like a pattern on that image. So, if you want you can create different patterns along with your logo also. So, these are the two commands used to draw the, li uh, draw the lines on the image. So, I have created a line from 0 to center y, from left x to center y and this is the image format of 0, 0, 255. Similarly, I have added one more line which is a right x to center y, width of the image to center y. So, for that we will use the image logo that we have to set to ROI will be changed to the result. Now, we have to plot the logo watermarking or for plotting that we will be using the image function. So, you can see here that we have uh, used image function. It will convert that image from array to image into RGB format and display that. Let us visualize how the image looks. So, we can see here this is the logo and these are the lines that we have drawn here. So, that is about the image how to add an image as a watermark. Next, in the next session, we will be looking how to put text as a watermark 